I must say, after 60 years of sailing experience with all kinds of boats, today is the first day that I have the same feeling when I put the sails down and start the electric engine, that it looks and feels like the boat is sailing. What a comfort. Electric sailing brings a lot of comfort. We're getting into harbor. It's normally quite a stressful situation um, because yeah, you don't want to hit anything. But normally with a diesel motor, you don't have the precise control and you have a lot of noise. And what we notice is that with electric motor, we're so precise and it's also quiet that if somebody is standing in front, you can just all relax and you don't have to shout. And that makes everything actually a lot easier and also therefore much safer. We just hoisted the sails and the electric motor is now actually in standby. So it's still turned on, but it's just waiting to be used. So when I press the button, I can just give a little bit of throttle. And you can, yeah, you cannot hear it running actually. You, you can hear the, the propeller a little bit. You leave the harbor until you have enough space to set the sails. And then you put out the engine and you can cross the entire globe and then you just regenerate and fill the batteries up with the propeller uh, generation. Yeah. And then when, once you're back in the next harbor, you just put on and you've, uh, don't yeah. the batteries are or all you go, you go for anchor and you, you have a lot of energy available for the cooking, for the washing machine, for anything you really want. Sailing electric or hybrid, it's much more sustainable than when you're using a diesel motor. And that's what you want on a sailing boat. You're already a hybrid ship because you have the sails and now you become fully environmentally friendly and sustainable. And there we are, inside of the truly classic Elysium. Yeah. So Anthony, where is the heart of this boat? Oh, we're standing right in front of it. Below this kitchen sink and this kitchen block, there's the electric motor, all the electric components and the diesel generator. It all had to be fitted in here. This <laughs> is also where the original motor was. And you can see it's, uh, <laughs> it was quite a challenge. Yeah, two yeah. motors inside <laughs> one, yeah. So it's all quite tucked in and tight, but um, down here you can see the, the, the electric motor. And well, you guys from Hutting did. Yeah. Like, because of you, we were able to place everything and coordinate everything. Yeah. Like th this panel here that's, that houses the electronics on this wall, it was all custom made. It's unbelievable, like a Tesla. There's so much power on the prop. If you uh, have maneuvered the boat in a, in a marina, um, then, then you want that torque, that power. And, uh, and that without noise, especially with strong winds, is really uh, ideal. This yeah. is really the future. We actually kept the same propeller, but we were able to put it in a much more aggressive pitch. It has a lot more oomph, basically. Um, we could go to an even bigger propeller if we wanted. Um, that might be something for the future, actually. You know, at Hutting Yachts as well, we get these beautiful sailing yachts from, that have been sailing around for 10, 20 years. And to make them beautiful again for, for us, the woodwork and, yeah. the, and, and, the, and the paint job, then to fit it out with a complete new hybrid system that's like creating an entire new boat that's perfectly suitable for the next generation. Even better than some current diesel engine powered yachts that are being built right now. Of course, newly built ships are a lot easier to make electric because yeah, you can take it into account with the design but there's so many ships out there that are 20 years old and they're well built um, and they, they will last for 100 years and after 20 years you need to think about replacing the diesel engine and yeah then you can consider going electric or or hybrid um, but for a lot of people this is quite unknown and they don't know if it's even possible with an existing ship and well that's what we proved here with this boat that this is quite a difficult boat because everything is round and nothing is square and everything is small I mean the engine it's it's underneath the kitchen so <laughs> it was a big challenge but it is possible <laughs> 